But you know what? Hmm. He's had a really good life. We fed him really, really well. And we got to pet him and love on him. And most cows don't get to be raised the way he's been raised. You know what I mean? And then he will become food for our family, right? Are you okay with that? Hmm? Are you sure? Here, give me a hug. It's all right. So, what's up, guys? We are back with another video. Hey, hang on. Could you keep it down, please? Could you keep it down? Huh? That's not keeping it down. All right, before we were rudely interrupted, back to what you were saying. So, what? <laughs> we already started the video. <laughs> so, if you have Houston's at a loss for words today. Yeah, you guys, have I'm you ever lost. seen this kid at a loss for words? I'm so, lost. I just got off work. It is a gorgeous day here in Oklahoma. And Houston and I, we've got to do our chores real quick. We're going to feed the animals. He wants to go let the goats out so they can graze. And, uh, water some seedlings in the garden and stuff real quick but i snuck over to the big bass pond the other day and i noticed there were some beds and that means the bass are spawning in our pond that means the water has warmed up and they're spawning and that means There's the big bass fish. should be easy to catch so we're going to take houston over to the pond and see if we can get into a, a big bass if bear will allow it but uh First, we gotta do our chores, so let's go let the goats out, check on all the animals, and, and let's go fishing. Today's my Friday. I just got off work, and uh, been been at work. I had worked last four days, and we just found out today that we had the first confirmed case of the virus here in our county. So it's here now for sure. Has been confirmed. So that ought to make work more interesting the next couple weeks. You think they want out? Yep. Let's see. They're following bear. What they're supposed to do. Straight off into the timber. Those goats absolutely love to go to the timber and they keep everything clean from ground up to about six feet up in the air. That's good. Hey, you don't have to open it up all the way. Overflow! You better not overflow it. Grab that feed tub over there by the bucket. Come on, Big Mac, are you hungry? We're hungry right now. Big Mac. Come on, Big Mac. Come on, Mommy. Get over there. Big Mac's just hanging out up here. He's not gonna come. He's not gonna come eat, is he? No. He's probably got a belly full of grass because the grass is growing really fast right now. Isn't it, buddy? You like the green grass? Huh? Well, I'm not going to complain if he would rather eat the grass than the grain. But, just so you know, I did call and schedule an, uh, an appointment for Big Mac <gasps> on May 6th. No. So he's got, a, uh, he's got an appointment set for... And to get butchered? Yeah. Oh. Houston, hey, come here. Are you going to be sad if we butcher Big Mac or win? But you know what? Hmm. He's had a really good life. We fed him really, really well. And we got to pet him and love on him. And most cows don't get to be raised the way he's been raised. You know what I mean? And then he will become food for our family, right? Are you okay with that? Hmm? Are you sure? Here, give me a hug. It's all right. Hey. It's okay. Don't cry, buddy. It's all right. Look at me. Hey, that's just part of life. It's, he's a cow. That's just part of his life. That's what his intended purpose was for, was to be, to provide food for our family, okay? It's okay to be sad. It's all right. You don't have to worry about it, okay? It's all right to be sad. Come 
Come on, girls. Come on. Let's go, Dolly. Come on. What's up, girls? There seems to be a common theme today. Nobody's really that interested in the grain, but uh, it just blows my mind how fast it's greened up. The grass has grown so fast, and this is where the goats are typically grazing. And uh, you can see Gemma there, our weenie dog, is barely taller than the grass right now. So it's growing really fast. I mean, we've got a lot of a lot of grass popping up in the last week or so. Huh. Hey, huh. before you go in, do you think any of your watermelon seeds have sprouted yet? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Well, let's go see. Nope. Darn it. Hey. None look yet. Look over there. Let's pick a strawberry. Oh, is there strawberries? Yeah. So we got a whole batch of strawberry plants that haven't been planted yet, but oh my goodness, look at our little seedlings. Everything's popping up. Hey, way ahead of schedule. We're gonna have okra early this year. Oh my goodness. Houston, how's the strawberry? Good. Good. You shall get past me to water all the rest of the plants. You don't think I can get past you? <laughs> I'm not going to do it. That started to sprout. Huh? The swishing flower started to sprout. Right wishing there. flower? You mean a dandelion? Yeah, like this. Dandelion. Don't be spreading those seeds in my garden. You know the, what dandelion is from? Ice Age. <laughs> the last dandelion. Chores are done, Houston. That means it's time to go fishing. Yep. We just got a little while. We gotta go fish for maybe 30 or 45 minutes before supper, okay? Yep. Let's go, boy. I got your fishing pole. So this is our big bass pond. If you guys were watching us last fall, we went down to Texas to a place called Pond King and loaded up on some, some bait fish and some bluegill and some small catfish for this. Now there are quite a few decent sized bass in here and we fed them tons of little shiners, uh, little minnows last fall. So now it's time to see if all that money paid off and fed these bass over the winter time. What is it? Is this a caterpillar well it is a caterpillar i don't know if they can see it on camera or not a little bitty one but i know i came over here the other day and i could see where the bass were starting to to make beds so we're going to be real real sneaky we're going to try to keep houston quiet and just work around the edge of the pond we're going to be fishing with a uh, a lizard an artificial lizard it's a, a zoom watermelon chartreuse uh five inch lizard and we're going to be fishing weightless. You know why? Why? Because here's the theory, Houston. Those bass are making a nest. So they make a nest in the water where they're going to lay their eggs. And when this, when this lizard falls in there, they're going to protect their nest and eat it. Okay?
I don't know how well it'll show up on camera, but you can see all the grass in here. And then here's a spot where that bass is making her nest. The water's still just a little dingy. You see it? Yeah, see it. Big one. Hey, hold the pole up high because you got to get it through the moss real slow, okay? Is there a fish in there or is it just moss? I don't know. Keep pulling it up. Don't reel anymore. Let's see what you got. Hang on. Hang on. I, no, there's a bass in there. There is? Little Bella. Oh, you got a little bitty bass. Hey, don't, you ain't going to complain about a bass though, are we? No, we ain't complaining. I think you can catch a bigger one. What do you think? Yeah. All right, I'll let it go. Hey, it's, it's good to see little bass too though, Houston. That means they're... They're spawning and, and still little ones coming up. If they were all big bass and we, we didn't have any little ones, you know what that would mean? What? That we weren't having any baby bass. I don't know what you're doing. I'm trying to get it. Wait. You got another one? Oh, <laughs> you yanked it out of his mouth. Ah. Our lizard's working though. They can't stand that lizard. Once that little lizard hits their nest or their bed, or you can bring it right over the top of it. Hey, that bass says, oh. good that's good hey don't reel it up any farther i'll get it for you oh mobella oh look at that baby look at that mama <laughs> well that one's not a lot bigger but uh couldn't resist that lizard could it mm -mm. let's see that fish one more time before you kick it loose yeah not a bad little bass houston you gonna let it go yeah these bass are starting to spawn in here in our pond. Woo! You just about fell in. There he goes. Well, we didn't exactly tear them up, but we only had about 20 or 30 minutes that we could fish. And we actually missed a few that we didn't, like uh, didn't show you guys. But I don't think the females are on the nest yet. I think the male fish are, are coming in there and making those nests trying to make a nice pretty nest for their ladies so maybe probably a, we're probably a week out on the spawn but I did notice I don't know how well it shows up on camera but there are tons of little teeny tiny bluegill and little teeny tiny minnows so our, our fish are our, our bass should be eating well terrible spot for my scooter Was uh, catching a bass out of the pond a good enough cure for your broken heart today? Yeah. Yeah. Are you over it? You all right? Yeah. Hey, it's all right. Big Mac will be. Big Big Mac had a really good life, and we're gonna take really good care of him and feed him really good for the next month. Okay? Yeah. All right. So one other thing I wanted to show you guys, or just share with you guys. Um, I totally forgot the other day I was gonna mention this, but um, you guys may remember my my friend Brian from. Uh, the highway patrol he's a retired trooper i worked with brian for years started a youtube channel it's called smoky cnc woodworks and he made some awesome signs for us and stuff and does all kinds of cnc router work well he's also got a second channel that he started and has a podcast that goes with it he kind of turned that second channel into his podcast and he came out the other day and shot a podcast and videoed it guys i'll leave a link in the description box can go check that out you can either watch it on youtube or listen to the podcast i'll leave links for both of those um, i'm going to share part of it on this video it was a lot of fun i mean he does some all kinds of different podcasts but just the whole podcast world has always kind of intrigued me something i've 
thought about doing in the past i just don't really have time to take on another project right now but uh it was a lot of fun having brian come out and he just kind of set up and did just a little interview with us but anyways go check that out the more i did research and the more i got to watching some of the bigger youtube channels out there i started seeing the number of views they were getting and through the the website um, socialblade.com you can look at people's statistics and it gives you an estimated revenue and i remember you know three four years ago looking at, at channels going man these guys are making five to eight thousand dollars a month and right. it just seemed astronomical it is astronomical because i still think that's astronomical it is. <laughs> but the potential out there I, I just saw there was a huge potential because there was not a lot of difference in the workload as a small channel versus a channel that gets a ton of views um, so someone that's making four hundred dollars a month is not really doing a lot less work than someone making four thousand a month right with with our job with the state you knew what your income was going to be right i know what my check was last month what it's going to be next month what's going to be next year unless we get a percentage raise but you your income's pretty well set on the internet it can change tenfold overnight right um, with a few viral videos or um, the right contact sharing your information and spreading it to their audience you can just grow so fast and which is what i'm doing right now <laughs> <laughs> so it just um it started evolving started um, watching other channels seeing what they were doing and trying to mimic some of their their style and their strategies and, and seeing what kind of content was was getting views on YouTube and there's just so much possibility out there. Well, and I mean, it's the truth of it. I mean, I've told these guys more than once that podcasts right now, there are 800,000 podcasts in the world. 800,000. YouTube, half a billion. I mean, uh, it's saturated. Mm -hmm. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Well, not that yet. It's okay. Start over. I want to say something. Um, this year, when Big Mac gets butchered, we might get a few pigs for sale this spring. And after Big Mac dies, we might get another one. You think so? Yes, I hope. Yep. It's just kind of part of life, isn't it? We raise one and we butcher it and we raise another one, huh? Yeah. You're learning. You're doing good. All right. You want to wrap this video up and end it for us? So if you haven't already, go down there, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and like this video. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you next video. Peace.